I grew up playing sports pretty early. Um, probably started when I was six or seven, because at the time, you know, it was just me and my mom, and so I needed an activity after school to keep me occupied. So I played constantly, whether it was baseball, football, uh, whatever I could play, I played. When I got to high school, I really focused on wrestling and uh, quickly found that I liked the individual aspect of that sport. You know, I was raised to be fiercely independent. Um, and so the individual aspect of that sport really made a lot of sense to me. It helped me with a lot of aspects of my life. When it came time to go to college, um, I had a guidance counselor tell my parents I really wasn't college material, um, which kind of set my parents off a bit. But um, my coaches really stepped up and, and helped me with that whole college process because I really didn't have anybody that could help me with that. Then one night, sitting at home, uh, the phone rang, and it was uh, Duke University. They did offer me a scholarship. Um, you know, my coaches, uh, you know, they knew I guess some of the challenges I faced. So they made it a point to uh, to come over the school intercom and announce, you know, the day that I received a scholarship offer. From Duke, Dion received a degree in sociology with a market to management focus, and then began his career in a management training program at an Atlanta waste management company. So I show up at the waste management offices. They hand me a pair of gloves, a road map, a list of addresses, and a truck key. And I said, what is all this? And they said, that's the equipment you need to get started. And I said, what do you mean get started? And they said, you're going to go out and pick up the garbage. They want you to learn the business from the ground up. And uh, so I, I spent months doing all of the different jobs, whether it be, you know, a helper on the back of the truck, the driver, customer service representative, uh, route supervisor, uh, ultimately until I was running several different operations. And this was only the beginning. Dion's career path would lead him to another bank, an MBA from Wake Forest University, and ultimately to owning his own successful company before coming to Regents in 2014 where he is now a credit product specialized team manager. You know, as a leader, I, I can't say enough good about him. And, it, and it's not just me. Um, it's Brian Tate, who, who leads the coverage platform. It's folks in Capital Markets, who he works with quite a bit, our natural resources platform. The feedback that I get on Dion across the organization, across the infrastructure on the corporate side of the bank is that, one, he's a, he's a great leader. Um, he's consistent, he's deliberate, he's thoughtful. Just as important as Dion's leadership skills are the teams he builds, teams representing diverse perspectives. For me, diversity is not necessarily about the way we all look, um, but the way we all think. And as I think about what we do every day, our job really is to come up with the absolute best solution we can. It's pretty consistent with him. You see it through when he's talking about people that he's considering for roles. You hear it when he talks about old co-workers at old institutions. Uh, it just seems shoot straight down the middle. He talks about people in terms of their work product and their ability, and that's the way you end up with a diverse team. Dion just really fosters a culture where everybody can say, you know, how they feel and what they're thinking, and it's a very open and welcoming environment. And I think it all helps us get to a better solution or the right answer. As focused as Dion remains on his team, he does it all without sacrificing a focus on community outreach, which often involves his family. Over the years, Dion has served in many organizations and on countless boards, from the North Carolina Museum of Natural Sciences to Trust and Obey Ministries. But in March of 2019, Dion suffered a setback that would impact the scope of his involvement. Last March, uh, when I went out for a run at lunch, um, I actually had a heart attack. And um, after that, um, I felt like I needed to really slow, slow down a bit, uh, focus on what, you know, really is most important, and that's my family. It has been difficult to step back and not be as involved in things that I'm very passionate about. Um, but I tell people all the time, if they can see a place where they can plug in and make a difference, do it. 
whether it be rebuilding a deck that's falling off a property or uh, cleaning a yard that needs to be cleaned or delivering furniture to a family that needs furniture or shoes to children who need shoes. Whatever it is, help people in need. It's around us every day. All I need to do is open my eyes, open my home, and, and I'll find opportunities to help people. Opportunities to help people. From the people on his team, to those in his community, to those in his home. Dion Barrett continues to capitalize on those opportunities wherever they may arise. You know, life's not really worth living if you don't impact someone else's life in a positive way, right? And, and that's what I want people to think about me is, hey, he may not have been, you know, the, the, mo the handsomest guy in the world. He may not have been the tallest, the most athletic, um, the brightest. I may not have had all of those gifts, but the one thing I do have is an ability to go out and help people. Make someone else's life better 